Welcome to File Storage Overview based on AWS Solutions Architect Topics by Abilead. We offer cloud service introductions, exam question explanations, and practicing of real exams. Work with business files as you would at home. EFS is a distributed file system for all app types with file sharing in the cloud or as a hybrid solution. You can improve availability with automated cloud backups or you improve your on-premises performance with bursting to the cloud. As an example for the latter, you connect your on-premises file system through direct connect with access to EFS in 3AZs. To store file objects, you choose the standard storage class with infrequent access after 30 days. Then you mount one mount target in each AZ and you finally share the datasets with the EFS access point. That's fair enough, what about apps? Serverless EFS is also designed for container apps. As needed you integrate the scalable shared file storage for persistence and low overhead. For example use the Fargate container type in ECS or EKS for its predictable and highly scalable workloads. Start with configuring EFS provisioned throughput with optional bursting and mount it to task definition at its launch. And for the simultaneous access of your users, you best associate an IAM task role to the ECS task and its policy. Of course, this works also for EC2 apps. Why EFS and not low-cost static S3 or the fast EBS? Because EFS provides sharing of frequent changed files for your stateless web tier just like in the following example. First, you connect via an internet gateway and an ALB to EFS in a secure VPC with the instances. Then you choose the standard storage class for frequent, predictable access across multiple AZs. To cover all your users in the same time, you select the EFS general performance configuration for lowest latency. Mount one mount target in each AZ and you finally share with the EFS access point. But can it a bit more performance? Hold on a minute. If you like this free content to continue, please subscribe it on the right bottom button. FSX is as dynamic as it sounds. With FSX Luster you cloud burst your Linux on-premises high performance or data processing. And for Windows file system migration or sharing via Microsoft Active Directory, you engage FSX Windows. If you need to migrate Linux, Windows and macOS file system altogether, you take FSX on tap. In the following example you connect your on-premises files of your Linux high-performance computing via Direct Connect to FSX Luster. Of course, you choose the low-latency SSD option for highest IOPS and with auto-replication for availability. The clients are then routed through ENI and mounted to FSX Luster. Last but not least you set up the integrated long-term S3 data repo as cold storage. And what do you do with Windows? With FSX Windows you migrate on-premises Windows Server file access and features such as Active Directory. In this way you can offload workloads to the cloud or implement a backup as follows. First connect your on-premises data via Direct Connect to your FSX file system. And with the optional on-premises FSX file gateway, you can get an even faster FSX file share. Then you select SSD for highest performance and latency sensitivity and multi-AZ for high availability. To completion you join the FSX Windows file directory with the Microsoft AD domain. With the understanding of the these storage services, you are ready for more details. If you want to prepare and safely pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, we recommend to also practice our real exams on Udemy. We wish you further insights with Abilead videos. <laughs>